This tutorial is for customers who wish to return back their GC Preview licenses uh, to the license portal and do a fresh activation. There are three possible uh, reasons that you may wish to return the licenses back to the server. The first primary reason I can think of is customers who have renewed their annual subscription would need to return the licenses back to the portal and then try a fresh activation. The other reason is for users who want to move the licenses from one computer to another. And the third would probably be for uh, users who want to reformat the hard disk and do a fresh uh, OS installation. The first thing that you need to do is uh, go to your GC Preview icon. GC Preview apparently is already installed on your computer. Right click and then open the file location. Scroll down to the application called GCFRM Activation. Right click and run as admin. You should have administrative rights for performing this task. If you don't, please call your IT person and perform the same. A window will open up which is a client activation and renewal tool. There are two modes mainly or three you can say. One is an online activation there is an offline activation and connect to a local server. I trust you are having an internet connection and we will be firstly trying the online activation. For offline activation, there will be another video where we will show you how to perform that. The first thing you do before uh, there are as you can see there are several buttons here one is activate and there's repair button there's return and you want to purchase an online purchase you can do or oh, you renew your license online yeah so in we have to click on the return button here so there is a automatically a fulfillment id gets uh, filled in, in this column before you actually go and execute that, I would always uh, advise you to check the view trusted storage button and make sure you know expand this window if you want and make sure one the license should be enabled. Yeah and it should be active or about to expire or expired very recently because if it is very old license you are trying to activate or return uh, it may be disabled. So have, make sure this uh, status is always enabled and check how many fulfillment IDs are there. There may be several fulfillment IDs. Make sure you are clicking on the right uh, fulfillment ID you have got on this uh, on fulfillment ID screen here. So make sure that you have the right one. So these are two important things. The next thing is in case you have uh, forgotten your, uh, you don't have your activation ID or you lost the email, it's always advisable to copy this and uh, put it in notepad or something like that. You can have the activation ID put in the notepad. So all that you do is once you ensure that the fulfillment ID is the current fulfillment ID that you are uh, having with you, run the Click on the button Execute. A DOS window opens connecting you to the server. So it makes several requests. It'll just take a few seconds. So there are some 10 or 11 stages it goes through. OK, it has done. Yes, make sure you have this uh, response process successfully and it has deleted the fulfillment ID. Sometimes uh, depending on your security settings in your computer, 
uh, you may get a error which is preventing you from you know performing this task so the error is normally the error uh, has a number which is something like 51504 or something like that if you get that uh, you would need to do an offline activation because your computer is preventing uh, the communication with the server so once this uh, successful uh, fulfillment ID has been deleted from the system, close this window and click on view trusted storage again and make sure that no fulfillment records are in the computer. Now, you have uh, performed this task and uh, you can now uh, go back uh, and move this uh, onto a new system or you, you want to you have received an email with the activation code which uh, invariably normally the same activation code is uh, uh, repeated when you renew your licenses so you go to the act click on the activate button again and then you know paste in that activation ID that you have here okay now uh, you can copy this and then you know, paste it. There's one more step. If required, you want to ensure that the license has been returned back to your license portal. If required, you can also, uh, you know, check in the license portal. For that, you can go to your browser and. Uh, you have to go to the license server. The license server address is, you know, you can note down if you want. This is the address. It is also given uh, uh, in the email that is sent to you. I think you have the license server address. So you have to log in to the server with your activation ID. You click in your on the activation ID button and then paste the activation ID and log into the server. So here you are on the license portal. This is uh, for your license. It is your license. The activation ID is here. The uh, date of uh, uh, the product ID is given here. The product description is given. And then there are entitlements. This is what you have to click on. So when you click on that, you should make sure that the available quantity, whatever you returned, is available for fresh activation. So before you perform the activation task, make sure that the license is available in the license portal for you to do the activation. So if you want, you can you know, minimize this and go back to this uh, window and perform the execute task. So again, the DOS window opens, it's communicating with the license server, it's creating a request, uh, content is created, and uh, request is being sent, it pulls for a response, takes a few seconds, and done, this is done, and uh, yeah, you have the process experiment, and then it gives a new fulfillment ID saying that this license has been utilized or it is fulfilled. So close this window again, click on view trusted storage and then you will find that it is again enabled with a new fulfillment ID and saying one trust it. Now your software should uh, run close this window, close this window and then you can Yeah, so go back to help and you have the same like, expiration date, things like that. Now close this window. Let me go back to the license portal. I've kept the license portal now. And uh, now let me again you know, click on list of entitlements. And then you'll find that one license has been utilized. So this is a small check if required, but I won't say it is absolutely necessary. It's just a uh, you know, small check you do to make sure that things are going the right way. 
So thank you very much. Any questions, you are most welcome to contact us. Thank you.